All right, guys, let's talk about the electrical system in a garden suite. Now, it's best to get 100 amps into the garden suite if possible, but depending on the service that you have in the main house, that may not always be possible. So for this unit, we actually have 200 amp service coming into the main house, and we had to split it three ways, and we we're only allowed to get 60 amps into this unit. Now, if you're actually able to get 100 amps, then you may be able to have a heating system that is electricity, okay? So uh, maybe a heat pump system, mini splits, Maybe there's an in-floor electric heating or uh, baseboard heaters that may be possible. But because we're only able to get 60 amp service into this unit, we actually have to get a gas line in and we're gonna be using a gas boiler and some of our appliances are gonna be gas as well. All right, so here's the panel that you see here. This is in this little service room uh, in the garden suite and we have a main breaker that is going to be 60 amps and uh, we have all these individual breakers for the circuits for the rest of the suite. Now. As for the rest of the electrical, everything else is the same, like any new construction or renovation of a basement. Uh, you can see that there's these outlets here. Now, all of these outlets now need to be arc fault protected for safety. And uh, that can be done either at the, uh, the individual uh, outlets themselves, or they can be done at the panel. It's usually more cost effective to have a breaker that takes care of that, okay? Uh, they also need to be tamper resistant. That's safety for for kids uh, and then uh, also ground fault protected so i'm going to show you that over on the other side we're going to move into the kitchen here so this is where the kitchen is going to be and uh, you can see these outlets here these are all going to be uh, gfi protected which uh, stands for gr uh, ground fault interrupter and uh, that is going to be required anywhere where there's water right so you have your kitchen sink here uh, we have ground fault protection at the uh, the bathroom vanities and then we also have GFI protected outlets outside as well. So anywhere where there's water, okay? Um, so that's basically it. Everything else is going to be the same, right? We have, this is a standard tw uh, 20 amp wire. This is a standard 50 amp wire. Um, the only thing I wanna mention is that whenever you have these outlets on the exterior wall, you can see this is an exterior wall because uh, of the insulation here. We need to ensure that this is gonna be sealed tight, right? Because we don't wanna puncture the air and vapor barrier because we don't want moisture and air going through. So this needs to be sealed tight with tuck tape. And uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is uh, very similar to any new construction or uh, a basement second suite. All right, so that is electrical at a very high level. Uh, hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching our video. We have a brand new garden suite guide, how to add one to your property. You can download a copy right now for free if you go to www.sweeteditions.com. We cover a ton of stuff you need to know if you wanna start building these to create more housing and wealth at the same time. There's also a list of resources that we've identified that you can use. Download your copy now for free at www.sweeteditions.com.